everyone welcome back to my channel today i want to do a quick sephora recommendations video the sephora spring uh savings event is literally right around the corner so i wanted to recommend a few products i'm going to try not to recommend products that i've talked about before on my channel just because i feel like if i'm going to do that then i might as well just tell y'all to go watch your old sephora recommendation video so today i'm gonna try to recommend new products and a few products that i want to pick up during the sephora sale so I think I'm going to start with um, skincare first. I'm going to recommend a few products and then I'll just keep going from there. The first product that I'm going to recommend is the Innisfree uh, Daily uh, UV Defense Sunscreen. This is a really good affordable um, sunscreen. Um, it is very hydrating, but it doesn't um, make me look too shiny or too greasy. So you don't have to worry about that if you have oily or acne prone skin. And it also doesn't leave a cast. This is a really good sunscreen. I will highly recommend this one. The sunscreen I'm going to be recommending is the Laneige UV Defense Sunscreen. This is actually the one I've been using for the last year and a half. This is very similar to the Innisfree. Um, it's just a little more money. This one is $30 and the Innisfree sunscreen is $15. They both do the same thing, but my go-to has just been the Laneige. I will highly recommend either one. You can't go wrong. Y'all, overall, I've been really liking a lot of products from Laneige. So I want to show y'all the ones that I've been using and I'm actually going to repurchase. And it's maybe like one or two I might pick up during the sale. picking up this um moisturizer from Laneige um I have a sample of this and it is very hydrating doesn't make me look greasy hasn't um broken me out it's very lightweight on the skin and I feel like it'll be perfect um being that the weather's starting to change and I don't need like a heavy um moisturizer so I might pick this up y'all this Laneige Radiancy uh brightening treatment has really did wonders for my skin along with the um vitamin c cream from laneige like i've been getting a lot of compliments from like my co-workers um recently when i went and got my eyebrows done um the lady who does my brows was like what have you been putting on your skin it looks really good so if you suffer from a lot of hyperpigmentation, like give this i would say a good six to eight weeks and you will see a huge difference in your skin and also pair it with the um radiant c cream i'm telling you your skin will look amazing next product i think i'm going to pick up from an edge is the retinol firming treatment um, I've been trying to use retinol more in my skincare routine, and this is just one that caught my eye. I've been using the one from The Ordinary. I really like that one, but um, I want to try something different, so I might pick this up during the sale. Next product that I will be recommending is from Pharmacy. It's their Overnight Mask. This is great. If you have large pores, textured skin, this will really help improve your skin put a lot of hydration back into it um recently in my latest sephora haul i picked this up but i picked it up in like a set where it was the um overnight mask and the um blueberry um makeup remover i would recommend getting it in a set because you're going to save a little more money where you will get basically two products for the price of one because um both product individually retails for about 40 dollars so again save you some money y'all i'm definitely picking up more of these dr dennis cross um daily peeling pads i talked about this already love these they're just super expensive this is the time to get those expensive products that you had your eye on from sephora if you're getting at least 15 to 20 percent off also at the time of um, me filming this video, Nordstrom is having a sale as well. So you might be able to pick up some products from Nordstrom if you um, not like uh, Rouge or VIB at Sephora. Okay, I'm gonna recommend a few primers. The first one you need to get if you have oily skin is this Secure to Sweat uh, Primer, y'all. This is really for people who have extremely oily skin like myself, you're going to see a huge difference 
and how your foundation wears, how long it holds up. I promise you, you got to get this primer. It is everything. up this hourglass primer i'm not sure a couple of y'all have recommended to me so i might get it so this is going like in the maybe category for me next primer i would recommend is the bobby brown vitamin enriched primer if you live near a cco store don't get it from sephora get it from there if you don't then this is the time to get it during the sale it's a really good um primer slash moisturizer foundation um the gucci foundation i love the finish of it it's just very hard to find a shade match for me still don't know my shade but it's a decent foundation the um kvd also is a really um good foundation as well if you're around my shade i would recommend going in store swatching some shades to find the absolute best choice the laura mercier foundation you gotta get it like this is the time to pick it up also the makeup forever powder i've been loving this powder i've been using it non-stop those two are absolute um must get for me for y'all to pick up also this um Too faced skin tint is amazing the uh bosma foundation stick love it y'all the guerlain foundation i tried it out with the secure the sweat primer and I got a huge difference as far as the way the foundation wore. But that's also another one that's very tricky when it comes to finding your shade. Um, also, I would recommend the Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation. Y'all know that's one of my favorite ones. Um, what else I would recommend for y'all? I think that's about it. Those are like my standout foundations right now. The ones that I would absolutely recommend. So we're going to go through concealers right quick. The Givenchy, pick it up if you have not. The Valentino one. Right now, I feel like that's a concealer that I don't know how it's going to wear, depending on what um, I set it with. Sometimes it'll crease on me. Other times, it won't. Now, during my first review, I liked it. I do still feel like you don't get a lot of product for the price. But that one, you could pass on. The Tom Ford one, easily skip. Trust me, don't get that one. The, um, what else down here? The Huda Beauty Concealer, if you have not picked it up, I don't know why you haven't, because I've talked about that concealer since the day it was released. That's a really good one. Also, the Dior Skin Correct, that's another good concealer to pick up. Even the Dior um, Backstage Concealer are ones that I would recommend. Um, either one of the Dior Concealers are great, so you can't go wrong with either one. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, that's about it. So for setting powders, I'm only going to recommend a couple, not that many. First one would have to be the Huda Beauty powder. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, I love the shade of those powders. I use the shade Blondie, um, Kanafa, and I've also been using... It's a darker shade. I can't think of the exact name of it, but you can't go wrong with that powder. The Givenchy is like one of my all-time favorite powders. It um, color corrects, blurs, and it's also matte. This NARS um, powder is pretty good as well. Um, I use that as just a powder foundation, but you can use it that way, or you can use it as a powder to set your foundation. So those will have to be the ones that I think I would recommend. Um, and the Laura Mercier powder. I've been using that one a lot. And I have the shade Honey. Like that's the one I've been reaching for a lot lately. Just because it is fairly new to me. 
Okay, for bronzers, um, I typically just stick to the same two bronzers over and over again. So I'm just going to recommend the two that I use a lot right now, the ones that I'm always using. And the first one is the um, Make Soft Scope Bronzer by Makeup um, by Mario. I have the shade Dark. I like this bronzer just because it actually makes you look bronze. It really warms up your skin. It's not too red. It's not too cool where it makes me look like I have contour. That's like one of my favorite bronzers right now. And I also use the Dior um, Forever Bronzer. That's like my go-to. I use that anytime I have makeup on. And I'm going to pick up this House Lab uh, bronzer because I've been eyeing it for a while now. I always say I'm going to get it and don't. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury one is pretty good. You can go with that one. And NARS um, have a couple new shades. I think um, one of their bronzers, the powder one. I'm going to get that if it's available at Sephora. Because I know I've only seen it on the NARS website. And that Gucci bronzer, that's one that I use often a lot. I rotate between shade 4 and 5. And yeah, with the Dior bronzer, I always use the shade 8. So yeah, those are my picks uh, for bronzers. And I would say get the Pat McGrath bronzer if that's available. By the time the Sephora sale roll around. Because I'm going to get a different shade. The one I have now, I don't pretty much like. So I have just a couple of lip products to recommend to y'all to try out the summer fridays um lip butter bomb if you have not tried that out you need it also the summer friday skin tint that's a really good one i don't think i mentioned that any lip product from dior i would say get you can't go wrong with any lip products from dior i love the matte lipsticks i love the lip gloss i love the liquid lipsticks like you cannot go wrong <laughs> like the quality the pigment they have a ton of shades especially when it comes to like the matte lipstick so those are definitely a get on my list now i don't know if i'm gonna pick up any more but if you've been eyeing anything from dior get it and i'm thinking about getting this shade in the illuminate cream contour from time four i have um a powder one from time four that's been discontinued i think so i want to try this out now i don't know if i'm going to get the deepest shade or I'm going to get the other shade um I think it's medium deep what is it yeah medium I don't know if I'm gonna get medium or deep I don't know and I might check Nordstrom and see if these are on sale and I might get it from Nordstrom or I'll wait and get it from Sephora I don't know yet but this is definitely going on the purchase list for me y'all i think that is about it i didn't want to make this video too long like i've started filming it well recording this video like last week then i stopped then i started back again well the voiceover part so i just don't want this to be too long so yeah that is all the things that i will recommend from sephora um some of the things that i'm going to be picking up y'all let me know in the comment section what are you picking up during the sephora sale also I want to know, do y'all ever set like a budget for the sale? Like, do you tell yourself, okay, I'm only going to spend this amount or I'm not going to spend this amount because every time the sale comes up, I'll have a number in my head. Like I'm not going to go over it. And then I start watching Sephora hauls and then I'll end up picking up other stuff. So then I go way over budget. So y'all let me know. Am I the only one who do that? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that is it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.